For many fellow travelers, Stockholm is one of the most beautiful European cities. Are they right? What did they find there that left them so impressed? Could it be the northern lights? Or maybe the charming old town? Let's find out together! Welcome back to Town Travel Tips! In today's video, we will explore Stockholm, Sweden's capital. If you like this format, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and smash that like button. It really does help us to grow and reach more travel enthusiasts just like you. Let's get started. Two days can be enough to explore Stockholm, especially if you are on a tour of the Baltic Sea's capitals. But make sure to find accommodation in the city center to optimize your movement. When it comes to the perfect season for visiting, try to avoid the harsh Nordic winters. Not only is it freezing, but it is also dark due to the Swedish high latitude. All of the other seasons are perfectly okay, especially summer, when locals embrace the warm and long days and stay out and chill until late into the evening. On day one, we will visit the city center, the old town, and the canals for which Stockholm is called Venice of the North. Day two will be about the Vikings' culture, relaxation, and delicious food. Day one. Start your day early and try the typical local breakfast with Nordic smoked salmon, or if you prefer sweet pastries, the classic raisins and cinnamon bread. Stockholm City Hall. The first stop will make you appreciate one of the city's symbols and its many bridges and canals. The City Hall, nestled at the water's edge and capped by three golden crowns, is one of Stockholm's most recognizable structures and appears in innumerable pictures and postcards. Climbing up the tower will make you admire the city from above, giving you a great view of Gamlastan, the old city. Dating back to the 1200s, Gamlastan is the pulsing heart of Stockholm. It has must-see landmarks, attractions, cafes, authentic restaurants, and boutique stores. As you stroll through a maze of small, twisting alleyways, many of which go to Stortorget, the central public square, you will be transported back to medieval times. In the main square, you will instantly notice another postcard's view with the traditional building's famous tiny and colorful facades. On the other end of the court, another spot you cannot miss is the Nobel Prize Museum. Stockholm is where Nobel Prizes are attributed every year and the ceremony takes place in the city hall you have already visited. For your first afternoon in Stockholm, do not miss the canals tour. The Nordic Sea runs through Stockholm's main locations, and the city is called the Venice of the North not by chance. It is flooded with boats of all kinds and sizes during the summer. Many locals own summer homes on the islands of Stockholm's archipelago and spend most weekends there. A tour boat lasts around 90 minutes and will allow you to see all of the major landmarks and the city by sea, which is a charming show, especially around sunset. Day one comes to an end, but we have 24 more hours to go and many places to see. So get some rest and be ready for another adventure tomorrow. Day two. Another delicious Swedish breakfast is the cure for the early clock on your second day. The first stop for day two is one of the most peculiar museums worldwide. The magnificent Vasa battleship, the primary attraction of the Vasa Museum, was built to be the pride of the Swedish Imperial Navy. Nonetheless, this elegant 64-gun warship sank on her inaugural voyage in 1628, only 300 meters away from Stockholm's shores. The Nordic Sea's icy waters preserved the ship's shape and lumber for centuries. In 1961, an incredible rescue effort took place, and now you can marvel at one of the most authentic and well-kept ancient ships. The three masts on the museum's top were rebuilt to the same height and dimensions as the original vessel. If you are not tired from visiting the Vasa Museum and are into music, the building next to the vessel is the ABBA Museum. It is for true ABBA fans. But if that is the case, 
you will surely enjoy it. Head back to the city center and be ready for your next stop. Stockholm's Royal Palace is located on the outskirts of Gamla Stan and is the official home of the King of Sweden. The palace is one of the biggest in Europe, with over 600 rooms, and provides a vivid sense of the once mighty Swedish Empire. It was built in the Baroque style in the 18th century and is home to many treasuries, such as Queen Christina's silver throne and Carl Gustav's royal crown. You cannot leave Stockholm without tasting the Swedish national food, the famous meatballs. They differ from the Italian version in the mix, the seasoning, and the sauce. The mixture is traditionally half pork, half veal, even if every Swedish granny has her own secret recipe. Spices like white pepper and nutmeg are generously added, and the sauce is roux-based with sour cream and beef stock. Tomatoes for marinara are definitely not a typical Nordic product after all. Let these delicious warm meatballs comfort you now, because your two days in Stockholm have come to an end. There are no doubts though that you will remember this trip for a long time. If you liked this video, subscribe to our channel and do not miss our 48-hour travel plan to another beautiful European city, Vienna. Take care and see you in the following video. Ciao!